Mm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, excuse me. Fancy seeing you in here. You must have got past the doorman. You slip a hundred dollar bill in his pocket, he'll do anything. <laughs> anything. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing good out there today. We got a great video on deck and I gotta bring it to you, homies. To you. And what is this video, you ask? What is this video? Good question. Today we are going to be doing a scrap can piece. That is correct, a scrap can piece. You know, I got a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Some quarter cans, some half cans, some cans that just have a little, little, little squirt left in. You know, in some cans, that I've just taken a little squirt out of. It's the yin and yang of the scrap cans, right? So <clears throat> today I think it'd be a great idea if we went out to the yard, the Judkins Graffiti Park, my pet project, and see what we can do with those cans today. And you know what? We're not taking a sketch. I'm not picking out specific colors. We're just gonna throw the paint on the wall and see what happens. Great approach at life, by the way. <laughs> You just got to keep spitting game, player. You got to keep spitting game. That's how it works. And uh, eventually something will stick. Anyways, so let's get out there. Let's go paint. No, no end game. No nothing. The journey is the destination. Who knows where we will end up, what we will see along this road, what happens in this video. So let's get cracking. See you guys at the wall. I think I got a female fat cap on there. Let's just start sketching something out. Let's just do it. You know? Graffiti is one of those things that I like to do because it helps me feel free, you know? And uh, it's just something to do. Write my homie's name, Demo. It's fun to write your friend's name, you know what I'm saying? Just get him up here. There we go. There we go, it's coming together. It's coming together, real simple, real easy. Just have fun. You know, this place, just a place for people to have fun. Write some words. That's all it is. All right. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Nice. Should we do a drop down 3D? I think so. I don't know if this is gonna be my 3D color, but I'm just gonna use this anyways. Just scrap can PC. It's seriously one of my favorite forms of graffiti. Just having a bunch of randos, like you don't even know what you got. You just like, oh, I'll just pull some colors together and uh, we'll see what we make. Will it suck? Will it look cool? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. All right, let's start filling in this background. Now I got a bunch of really nice purples and whatnot. Let's dump all this out here. Man, I gotta tell you, this GoPro is change the game for me. It just makes things a whole lot easier. I don't have to try to like worry about camera angles. It's just point and go. Okay, this is a bright violet in the Acme. No, it doesn't have a label, I'm sorry. We're just filling in here, we're just filling in. No rhyme or reason, just fill it in. I'll try to blend well with this video piece here. You know, when you're painting a free wall, you should still be respectful and not try to like cap somebody and leave them hanging like that. You know, I mean, it's just common courtesy guys. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I hear sometimes these little kids are like, oh, just a free wall. You know, I'm like, well, it is. You gotta remember, there's like old guys that bombed way before you were born. And this is their release. And it's still graffiti, despite what the memes say. I mean, if you're a follower, you can be a follower, but I'm not a follower. I carved my own path. And I want you to, too. Look at that. Mm. All right, let's drop some of that in there. That's beautiful. Look at that. It's so quick. Quick and easy, baby. Quick and easy. Let's put some of this in here. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
By the way, I'm using the Euro, uh, Euro pink dot. Dope cap. Oh yeah, look at that, what is this? Oh, cherry red. Oh man, I love this color. Look at that with the Euro fat cap. Mm. Look at those lines. Oh, so beautiful. All right. Mm. Mm. Dust it in, baby. Couple little dots here. Just for the hell of it. Mm. Beautiful. All right. Let's see, where was that line at? Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. Dude, this GoPro has changed my life, homie. You know, if you want to start doing graph videos, get yourself a GoPro 7. Like, don't even, don't even waste your time with the other ones. Get a 7, because it has the best stabilization I've seen. It really does. All right. Hey, why don't we do some little stars here, huh? Oh, wait, I'm using the fat cap. Hold on. Let me, uh, this cap's pretty fat. Let's rock a Lego. Lego my ego, right? Lego's a good thin technique for this. There we go. Of course, I already started this, so it's all buckled. That's okay, we'll fix it. There we go, perfect. So when you do a scrap can piece, like you're really just, you're just taking random colors. You're just filling a bunch of area. Nice. Let's start working on the fill, guys. All right, what do we got for our fill? I think I'm gonna do a halo with this orange. What do you guys think? I think we should, huh? All right. So we got a can of iron lac here. This is a Linz Iceberg. That's a nice color. Ooh, real sublime. Ooh, another real sublime. Lucky boy. These are almost empty though, but I think we can get a little bit out of them. What about this one? Oh yeah, that's real empty. Dig a hole, look at this can. Let's start with that. Let's start with the dig a hole. I think we should do that. All right. Oh yeah, this is a good color. It's like a petroleum blue is the best way I can describe it. It's almost like petroleum blue. You know, some of these, some of these uh, sugar colors, they cover really, really well. I haven't had a chance to try the Gen 2 ones, but um, you know, some of the browns in the Gen 1 are a little inconsistent. Some of these other colors, like dig a hole, man, they do, they go far. They really cover. Really like this. All right. Nice. Oh, there he goes to dig a hole. He crusted that one out. That's nice. Love getting rid of cans. Nice. Okay. Let's rock the uh, iceberg. Call it the ice or just the iceberg. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm. Damn, that's such a dope color. Mm. Some of these lac colors just really cover. I mean like, they just lay down so thick. They're definitely my favorite when it comes to bombing. If you're just trying to bomb something, they just, just lay down so thick. Nice. Rock that bad boy right there. Look at that. See, you can do this. You got this in your skill set. I know you got it. You got this, homie. You got this. Whoa, what was I doing over here? Oh yeah, like that. Sometimes I forget what I'm painting here. All right, nice. There goes the iceberg. R.I.P. Iceberg. All right, nice. Let's get the real Sublime on deck here. One of my favorite colors. Oh man, look at that, it's gorgeous. Wait, did I have, oh no, that's the 3D going down, okay. 
forgot what I was doing. See, this is this is what it's about, man. You just your homie, my homie's over there, laughing at me, doing all this dumb commentary. <laughs> We're just having fun, man. None of this matters. It's like that Carl meme. You know that Carl meme where he's like, it don't matter, nothing matters. <laughs> I mean, you make things matter. You know what I'm saying? You make things matter. But this, uh, none of this other stuff matters. That sublime is almost done, baby. It is almost done. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Who cares? Let's get loose. All right. No more sublime. Oh, man. I'm burning through these cans. That's awesome. That's awesome. What else is in here? What else we got? <clears throat> What's this? DC does. That's a good one. Oh, what's this? I didn't use any orange. Oh wait, no, I'm gonna outline with orange, aren't I? Well, maybe I can outline with. Maybe I'll use one of those. You know what? I'll do a black outline. That's what I'm doing. Do a black outline. That's what I'll do. Black outline. So we'll fill with some. Let's see here. What do we got? What do we got? <laughs> Oh yeah, smoothie. I like that color. I painted He-Man with this color. Middle-aged character of He-Man with a pot belly with Orko. And I use this. Perfect skin tone for He-Man. Alright, just rock that baby. Look at that, beautiful. Easy as pie, guys, you got this. All right, nice. Ooh, R.I.P. smoothie. A little bit left. There we go. Rocket. Nice. I love burning through this stuff. All right. Let's do this. Ooh. Make sure you got the cap facing the right way. You can have a bad time. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. Like that. So you got this, homie. Easy as pie, you can get fly. Easy as pie, you can get fly. Basically, I'm just doing a throw up. This is what I would consider a throw up these days. <laughs> Go. Nice. Nice. Perfect. Nice and quick. Don't be a trick. <laughs> oh man, these Montana black blacks are so good for just lacing an outline. I gotta love them. Even if you're rocking cheap cans, get a couple of these to outline with. You'll thank me later. Mm. 
you know, there was a time when I had so much leg pain, I couldn't even do this stuff. Couldn't even walk. Barely could walk. But I definitely couldn't peace. I was in so much pain. Because I was out tagging one night, fell off a roof. <clears throat> and I had to think about my life. Like, where, where, what am I going to do now? You know, what else am I going to do? You got to think about those things. What is that? What are you going to do? You going to sleep under a bridge while the street artists win everything? Okay. Whatever, guy. You got to claim your future, homie. You got to claim your own future. I don't even have problems with street artists. I don't care. You know, it's like people are too worried about what other people are doing. It don't affect you. Yeah, I think we good. Okay, let's rock this Lego cap. Ooh, it's still facing the wrong way. Gotta be careful about that. Yeah. These orange, they always overspray like crazy. It's okay, we got this. <clears throat> Come here. What are you guys doing, huh? What are you guys doing, huh? What are you guys doing? Yeah, my dogs rolled through. All right. Yeah, you can get them, huh? <laughs> These dogs are beefing. All right, let's uh, let's do some highlights here. Let's do some highlights. I'm just gonna rock this sugar can here. I don't I don't remember what color it is. Sorry, I don't remember. Let me see what is it. Ah, key lime. Of course. Of course, it's key lime. Ah, of course. Beautiful shade. Dog, don't you start barking, I'm filming. Mm. Mm. My favorite time of year. Get out and paint, enjoy the sun. Little turd dogs beefing with each other, like little tagger kids. Same thing, really. You know, used to work at a, a dog groomer when I was younger. And, uh, you know, when you see packs of dogs together, there's always those dogs that just don't get along with the other ones, you know? But eventually the other dogs, they just, they just shun that dog and he doesn't get to play with the other dogs. You could learn a lot from dogs. <laughs> dogs are beefing that. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Ooh, that's laying down really nicely though. Hey guys, I'm filming over here, okay? I'm filming over here. <laughs> Are you like audio, audio, audio up? Yep. It's all good. Makes the film. Makes the film. This is real video. <laughs> you know, 3D highlights are so important. It just really lights up your piece. You know what I'm saying? Basically, it's like basically doing mini flare shines. Hey, Potato, what's up, man? How you doing? Oh, Sesame, what's up, homie? How you doing? Why are you guys so bad? Man, if you were big dogs, whew, so much trouble. All right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, rock our shines on this bad boy. Got some Mon Montana Gold S9100. I'm using a New York fat cap. Cause I like those big, juicy shines, baby. Quick and easy, <laughs> you know what? I didn't even fill that in, but that's okay. We'll just leave it. That's fun, I like that. All right, let's see. Oh, do a little shine right here. Beautiful. Nice. Thank you. 
All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Why did my music come off? What's going on there? Let's see what's up with the music. Oh, hey, puppers, how you doing? You coming here to hang out? Yeah, what's up, homie? Like it when the homie dogs come to the park. All right, remind me later. Wifey's calling. All right, there we go, back in the groove. All right, puppers. Anyways, let's see what's up here. Let's see what's up. I got some, uh, some turquoise. Got some turquoise. I wanted to add a little bit more. I think we're, we're kind of missing a little bit of the, of the green up here. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to do a big bubble. Kind of work around this uh, thing here. There we go. Just to give it a little bit more balance. You know what I'm saying? It's a nice, it's a really nice shade. I really like that turquoise. It's nice. All right. Just put a couple bubs, a little bit of bub love. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of bub love. And work your way around. There's like a probably like a quarter can in here, which is a good amount of paint. Not too much, just enough to uh, spread it out a little. Okay, I probably should just leave it at that. Leave that like that. Maybe just one more right here. There we go. Looks like a little molecule or something, right? It's a little molecule. Oh, it's not quite, not quite rounded off. There we go. You know, don't forget. Sometimes when you're painting like this, you tend to kind of like get stuck in the zone and you're like stuck on the wall. And I, I do that all the time. I always do that. So it's really important to just kind of stand back real quick and take a look, you know, assess the situation and uh, go back at it. Obviously, if you're painting at night in the street in between a couple rail cars, you don't really have the, uh, you sometimes don't have the ability to do that because you can't really stand back. Um, but in these circumstances, we definitely can. All right, let's take a look here. Uh, let's see, let me rock some of this here. What is this color? What do we got here? Oh, dark aqua. Oh yeah, that's the Acme. Look at this, this is the misprint. The mis misprint can. Extremely rare and valuable. Not for sale. Um, let's do a little bit of dark aqua here, just to kind of kind of balance out that blue, whatever that was. And we'll just keep it like that. Just a little balance. I really like doing these scrap can pieces because they uh, just allow me to be free, you know? Ooh, I think this cap is clogged. Uh, oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. How rude. All right. There we go. There's a cap. Oh, shit. All right. Now we're back in the game. Oh yeah, look at that, there we go, perfect. <clears throat> Anyways, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, scrap can pieces. You know, it's just a fun way to like, get rid of all that old paint you got laying around and create something kind of interesting, I guess, you know? Do something. Like I said about that Ramon song, you know, all the kids want something to do. Just don't sniff no glue. Now, I don't know if uh, a lot of you guys know this, but this whole yard right here is not a legal wall. It did not start as a legal wall. One day, you know about that trick? It's starting to get a drip. Just blow on it. Anyways, one day I just came out here and just started painting. And uh, some people came up to me and they're like, oh, are you, uh, are you getting paid to do this? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> Well, yes, I am. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna do a couple more little bubbles and then I'll be done. I'm gonna over bubble this like I always do. But I just wanted to add a little bit more texture, a little bit more character to it. And I think we got it. I think we got it, guys. All right. All right, guys, I think we are done. Got ourselves a simple little scrap can piece. Easy as pie. 
basic, simple letters, old school, hitting off the homies. Oh yeah, I gotta do hit offs. I'll do that off video though. We were just working on the piece today. All right, I hope you guys had fun. Oh, you know what? Let's do a tour of the yard. Right, guys thanks for watching i really appreciate it i had a great time here showing you guys how to do a basic uh scrap can piece very simple just fill some color in uh like paint by number just lay down colors because remember graffiti is always just layers it's just layers that's all it is You're laying down layers and if you got a bunch of random colors just try to group them together make yourself a work of art get rid of all your scrap cans and move on to the next thing so anyways guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it you guys coming out here to watch this video today summer's coming that means we're gonna be painting like crazy so anyways thanks so much for watching guys this is art primo video so hit us up artprimo.com 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 that's 206-365-4083 206-365-4083 we're artprimo.com your number one source hit us up peace